Welcome to today's uh, lesson. My name is uh, Kilian Densia Masaka. So today we're going to discuss on how we can make uh, readings on a micrometer screw gauge. It's very important because uh, if we know how to make readings, it means that uh, we can appropriately use this equipment. This device is very important because uh, it requires us to get the correct readings before we make use of it. And when we make use of it, we should collect the appropriate readings. And therefore, we'll go through these lessons um, of how to make use of a micro task gauge. So we go now. The micrometer screw gauge has the following parts. It has the anvil, the spindle, the main scale, which is the sleeve scale, and the thimble scale, as well as the ratchet. So the anvil and the spindle is where we put the object. We put the object in between the anvil and the spindle. The main scale or the sleeve scale, the main scale is also known as the sleeve scale, is where we make the first reading. And the thimble scale is where we make the second reading. The ratchet is there, just there to moderate or to apply an appropriate pressure on the object which is between the anvil and the spindle. So the thimble has 50 divisions. So that's what we, I was actually explaining here. The main scale is calibrated in millimeters, but it can vary according to what is supposed to be measured. So each division is actually 0 0.5 millimeters, okay. So the thimble moves a distance or the pitch of 0 0.5 millimeters in one revolution. So this thimble here, it will move actually 0 0.5 millimeters in one round or one revolution. And so when we are taking the readings, we are supposed to know, as I indicated earlier on, the reading on the sleeve scale. So we need to get, first of all, the sleeve reading, then we add it to the thimble reading. The thimble reading should be multiplied to the least count, which is 0 0.01. And the accuracy of a micrometer screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeters. Or when converted into centimeters, it is 0 0.01 centimeters. So as I indicated earlier, when we are getting the reading on a micrometer screw gauge, first of all, we get the sleeve reading from the main scale plus the thimble reading. The thimble reading should be multiplied to the least count. Remember the discount we said, it is the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge, which is 0 0.01 millimeters. So the reading that we get on the thimble reading or thimble scale, we have to multiply it to the least count. So we are going to go through uh, about six questions, which I feel 
after we've gone through these questions, we will have adequate knowledge to make readings on a micrometer screw gauge. So for question one and two, we are going to deal with the questions where there are no zero lead errors on the micrometer screw gauge. What do we mean when we say there are no zero errors? It means that the mark, the zero mark on the sleeve scale is coinciding with the zero mark on the thimble scale. By coinciding, it means that they are in line. So meaning that there is no zero error. The zero error on the main scale or the sleeve scale are in the same line with the zero actually on the, uh, the thimble uh, scale. So that's what it means. And so here is the first equation. Uh, it has seven here, meaning that this is 6.5, this is six, this is five, 5.5, meaning this is 4.5. So we are going to put on the sleeve reading a, a value of 4.5. So we get first of all the sleeve reading, which is 0 0.5 plus get now the thimble reading. The thimble reading, you look at the point where the line from the, actually the uh, sleeve reading is in line with the, a mark on the thimble scale. And you, when you check here, it is actually 10. So we are going to multiply 10. This 10 will be multiplied to the least count, which is 0 0.01. And it gives us 4.60 millimeters. So it's as simple as that. The second equation, again, we consider that there is no zero error. And so now we have here 8, 8.5. 9, 9.5, 10, 10.5. So on the main scale, we are the three reading, we are going to write 10.5. So on the three reading, on main scale, we write 10.5 plus. Then we get now the thimble reading. Thimble reading is found from here. Which one is in line here? It is actually fate three. So we are going to get this fate three. We multiply it to the list count. The list count has indicated the area. It is 0 0.01 millimeters, which gives us 10.83 millimeters. So actually, this is how we can read uh, or make a reading on the micrometer screw gauge, uh, which has no zero errors. And so now, I hope for the two questions we have tackled are uh, appropriate to enable us to have developed concepts to enable us to make uh, appropriate readings on a micrometer screw gauge without zero errors. So now in case uh, after using the micrometer screw gauge for some time, it develops errors. So the next three equations, three and four, we are going to encounter a micrometer screw gauge with the zero errors. And so here's the question four. Question three and four, calculate the zero error and the main reading respectively. What it means that for question three, we will discuss or know how to calculate the zero error. 
Then in question four, we are going now to make the reading, including the zero error that we're going to find in question three. So here is um, actually a question. And we have our many uh, main scale here, which is the sleeve read. And here we have the thimble scale. Okay, so we note that uh, actually this one has an error because the zero is not coinciding with the, this line here. Zero is actually before. So what is the error here? This error is actually positive in the sense that for whatever reading we are going to make, we will need to subtract this error. So if you check this error, it is zero, one, two, three. So we have a zero because we said every mark here if you multiply it with 0 0.01, which is the S count, because whatever you get on the theme already is supposed to be multiplied by the least count. You multiply whatever value you get here with the least count value, which is 0 0.01. So here we have three, okay? Because this zero is supposed to be coinciding here before you make a reading. Here, we have not made a reading at all. So this zero is supposed to be there. So this one has an error and it has an error of positive three, meaning that whatever reading we are going to get, it will be ahead by three, by 0 0.03 millimeters. And so, this is the zero error, which is 0 0.03 millimeters. Now, on question four, we are going to now make the reading. We will start now with the main scale. From the main scale or the three reading, we have here five, and this is 5.5. .5. So you make your the three reading you have your 5.5 .5 millimeters plus you get the reading for the thimble reading the thimble reading here will not start if this is 29 this would be 30 and this would be 31 so the value we are looking for is 30. so whatever we get on the thimble reading here or the theme of scale, we have to multiply it with a 0 0.01. So we are going to get 30 here multiplied by 0 0.01, which is the least count. Minus now, because we said that one, actually the reading here, if you notice here, this reading here, it is ahead already by 0 0.03 millimeters. So we have to remove, we have to subtract this error, which is 0 0.03. And what we get here is 5.77 millimeters. So we have known how we can actually correct the error for a micrometer screw gauge which has an, a positive error. Okay, so now let's look at another question. So now we look at question five and six. In question five and six, we are going also to have a zero error, but this zero error will not be the same as the zero error we encountered in question three and four. So here is the, the error which is there. Instead of this zero, before actually we put an object between the anvil and the spindle, instead of this zero being here, it is there.
So we note that uh, this one is actually ahead. So it means that we have to add this value here. We have to add this value to whatever reading we're going to get, we're going to add this value. And this value we said each space here, each division is equal to 0 0.01. And so this is the value which is because this one is at this point. So it has moved by 0 0.01. And this is negative, meaning that whatever we are going to get, we need to add it because it has moved ahead already. Before, it is supposed to start from here, but it has moved ahead. So whatever value we're going to get, we have to add to this value. Okay. So here is now the question, which is question six. We start now, we include now the error. We go to e, question five. So we have this one is as five. This is 5.5 .5 on the sleeve reading. So our sleeve reading, we get 5.5 .5 millimeters. Plus, what is our thimble reading? Our thimble reading, it will be this one, which is 14. So we multiply 14 multiplied by 0 0.01 minus the zero error which we find in brackets minus 0 0.01 which is equal to this, this one becomes positive meaning that we are going to add and so what we get is 5.65 millimeters and so we have learned on how to make readings on a micro school gauge without zero errors and we have also learned on how to make readings on a micrometer screw gauge with the zero errors. I hope these few examples that we have given here will enable us to try more of questions and be able to apply them so that we can get the correct solutions for whatever question will be asked. I thank you. So I request you to subscribe to my YouTube as you are going to receive more of these questions. I thank you.